it's April Garwood from Banana Moon Studio. Today I'd like to show you a product that I have been working with. This is a bag of recycled Sari Silk Spectrum threads that I ordered from Paradise Fibers. And I want to show you what this product is like when you get it. Um, so when I pull this clump out of here, it's hard to get like just a little bit out. Um, you can see that it's very um, tangled together. It's not gonna be like tidy like roving is. And um, when you can manage to pull one piece out of here, it's, it's not um, gonna draft nicely like you're used to roving doing. Um, it'll, it'll draft a little bit sometimes, I'm managing to draft this one a little bit, but it's not going to be the kind of thing where you can thin this out to just a few threads to make something that's gonna be smooth and thin hand spun yarn like what you're used to. But you can see you've got a lot of beautiful color in here. And I've made some really beautiful yarn using these um, recycled Sari Silk threads. And so I'd like to show you, um, first of all, what the yarn looks like. And uh, actually it's currently hanging to dry. And um, I'm gonna insert a picture here once I've got it all finished to show you what it looks like. So here is the uh, finished yarn that I made using these recycled sari silk threads and natural colored BFL or blue face luster wool. The next thing I'd like to show you is how I actually worked with the, these uh, recycled sari silk threads. So I have my a uh, bunch of the threads sitting here in a yarn bowl next to me and then I have my uh, natural blue faced luster sitting next to me. <clears throat> I'm also going to have nearby a pair of scissors because I found that actually to work with these threads and not have um, big chunks in my yarn was that sometimes I had to cut it. My very first effort at working with these sari silk threads produced this little ball of um, singles. And you can see that I just have some really big clumps of the um, sari silk in there that I couldn't, I couldn't draft it out. And so I found what I had to do was, was actually cut up these big clumps in order to get the yarn that I wanted. Now, if you like this, make yarn like this, that's just fine. Um, it is not the kind of yarn that I was really hoping to make. So I will show you what I did to be able to break up these clumps and make a yarn that was more like what I wanted, which is more like what you see here, where you're getting the color, but you have more even width so that you can um, knit or crochet with it. So I'm going to show you how I did that. So you'll just start with your base wool, which for me is this natural blue face luster. And just draft for a bit and kind of get that started. Okay, so that's started. Now what I want to do is add in some of the recycled silk. So I'm just going to pick a, a glob out here of whatever color it is I want to grab next. And this glob of uh, silk is fairly uh, loose and not packed and I'm able to draft it a little bit. I'm just going to start by holding that alongside my wool and start drafting them together. 
and I want to, um, I'm going to do forward short draw and draw my hands back over the fiber so that I can smooth it as I go. And I'm just gradually pulling in the threads of silk. I'm going to bring most of it back up here so I can get more of it in there. And where I can draft it out, I'm just going to draft the two together. If it starts getting really clumped, like there's kind of a big knot in it right here, I'll actually just cut this off. And usually when I do that, it loosens up the knots a little bit and I'm able to um, draft it out better. But this one's kind of got a little dense spot right in the middle. So I might kind of stretch it out a little bit and see if I can work that clump out and it does kind of feel like it's coming out. So I'm gonna, they've come apart now, so I'm going to lay them back on top of each other and just start again drafting these fibers together. And so by doing that, I've got a little bit of um, some places here where I've got some kind of big clumps, but that's okay. I still feel like that um, that's still going to be something I can work with if I'm knitting or crocheting. And then I've got some little threads that didn't stay with the group here, so I'm going to collect them back up here and just let them get caught up in the twist. If they aren't completely smooth and twisted in, that's that's just fine. Okay, so I got most of that purple worked in. I'm gonna switch hooks here on my flyer, and I'm gonna pick out, well, I'm gonna put that around the maiden. Um, I'm gonna pick out this red now. I like to just kind of alternate colors, and I mean, sometimes when you pull some of this out, you can't even separate the colors, and you wind up mixing several in, but it's pretty. Um, this red is not easily coming out. <laughs> so again, I'm just going to cut some of it off. Um, silk threads can be extremely long. And so they're, you're probably going to wind up, you would probably wind up cutting them anyway, just because of how long they are. So no worries about cutting it. It's, it's, it's okay. All right, so now I'm gonna start drafting in some of this red, and I actually managed to grab a little bit of yellow and turquoise along with it, so it's not, not just red, it's got several colors. Okay, and here I've got kind of a knotted area. If it's not too bulky, you can just let it spin into your yarn, and I might do that here, because it's not too bad, but if you wanna break it up more, Pull it apart a bit with your fingers or just cut it but it's not too bad so I think I'm just going to continue here's a spot where it's it's pretty knotted so I think I'm going to cut here and see if that will let me break this clump up a little bit and it does so now I'll continue And then I'll just spin the wool for a little bit, kind of leave some white sections in between. Okay. Then let's see, what else have we got in here? There's some green in here, some bright green that I like. We'll see if I can pull most of that out. Okay, so there's some bright green here. It's got a little bit of pink and turquoise stuck in it. So I'm going to see if I can uh, draft it out a little bit. It's pretty compact.
sometimes when I find a clump like this where it's just kind of stuck, instead of just cutting across this way, I might even just cut through the middle of it and see if I can break up the knot that's in it. Okay, well, let's just kind of see what happens here. Oh, I've got some random red fluff. bulky if I leave it as is. So I'm going to see if I can draft it out a bit more. Okay, so I got all that green and now I've got this whole clump of blue I'm going to just go ahead and add in there. I considered when I first uh, started looking at this product, I considered like could I use it with my hand cards, my combs, my blending board um, to, to blend it in, but I found that it was just so... Um, tangly and dense that I really didn't feel like any of those blending tools were going to be successful at working with this fiber. So really the the best way to work with it is going to be like I'm doing here to just draft it together with your base fiber. So I want to bring you over here and kind of show you what's on my bobbin so far. Um, so it's colorful um, and fun. So, I, I mean, I think you get the gist of it. Sometimes you're just going to have to cut. But there's all kinds of color in here. I've got some black, yellow, green, some kind of off-white parts in here. And like I said, just when you get to a point that it's really compact or tangled, don't feel bad about cutting it because um, that's just... That's just what you have to do. This right here is kind of a tangly bit, but it's got some some interesting color in it. So I think I'm going to use that next. Um, so anyhow, I, I have really enjoyed this project. I know that it might look, it might look frustrating because there's a lot of stopping and starting. 
Um, but I have found it fun because of the, the playing with color. And uh, the finished yarn turned out really beautiful as well. Um, after I finished spinning my colorful single like I showed you here, I spun a plain white single of the Blue Face Luster that I'm using as my base wool. And then I applied those two together to make the yarn that I showed you in the picture. So it's been a fun project, it's been colorful, and I um, am excited to be actually giving away the two skeins of finished yarn that I showed you in the picture. And you can find details about how to do that when you go to my website. You can hit the uh, little information button at the top of the screen or there is a link in the description box. And um, you'll also find in the description box a Um, an affiliate link for where you can purchase these sari silk threads yourself from Paradise Fibers. And as always, you will find my latest um, patterns, reviews, tutorials at bananamoonstudio.com. And please remember to like, subscribe, share, and comment. And I hope you all have a wonderful day.